ABC 17's Chanel Porter continues our live team coverage tonight after hearing a COVID-19 update at tonight's Jefferson City Council meeting. And Chanel, this comes just three days after the state issued a COVID-19 hotspot advisory for Cole County. Deb, none of the city council members really had anything to say about Cole County being added to the hotspot advisory list. In the past two weeks, cases have increased to 363 in the county. Mayor Carrie Turgeon said at today's meeting, the people need to keep in mind ways to decrease exposure. When determining where the next hotspot will be, the state looks at data on case rates increasing and local insight on potential transmission. Chesney Schulte with the Cole County Health Department told me more about the upward trends. Certainly started to notice an increase in cases back at the last week of June. And then all through the month of July, that was those numbers were pretty consistent, reporting anywhere from 10 to almost 70 positive cases um, on any given day. Out of just above 9,300 cases in the county since the start of the pandemic, 284 of them have been breakthrough infections involving vaccinated individuals. Mayor Carrie Turgeon said it's not unexpected to have some of these breakthroughs. The purpose of the current COVID-19 vaccines is to decrease the severity of the symptoms and decrease the risk of hospitalization. One goal for the hotspot advisory is to help people overcome hesitancy and get vaccinated. Schulte said there are efforts to get case numbers trending back downward. A lot of the push is going to be where is testing available? Where is um, the vaccine available? And then educating people whether they're vaccinated or not. It's important to keep those CDC recommendations in mind. And Deb, by getting the vaccine, Turgeon said people are helping local hospitals who are seeing large numbers of COVID-19 patients right now. As of this morning, Capital Regional had 27 COVID patients and St. Mary's had 15. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Chanel Porter, ABC 17 News. Chanel, thank you. Mayor Turgeon advises those seeking a vaccine that you can go to any of the local pharmacies. Now, if someone has questions about the vaccine, make sure you talk to your doctor or physician to get them answered. And for more on vaccines and COVID-19 case numbers where you live, we continue to keep an updated blog on our website. That's at abc17news.com.